Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you guys how to make more money using these Photoshop mockups to show potential clients that you can provide a truly bespoke experience for them. And here are some examples right here. Now let's dive right in. Once you downloaded these files, you're going to see three different mockups. This is the side mockup, a front mockup, and a back mockup. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this virgin wrap for Photo Booth Expo 2019. Once you open up the file here, uh, I'm going to pick this side mockup to work with first because this has actually the most elements. And we're going to be seeing a bunch of these green layers up here um, and the red one and the blue one. So first of all, let's start with the basics. The background is really easy to double click that and you can change its color. Um, this is great for if you want to put it onto any sort of uh, flat color, uh, but for the most part we're likely going to click the eyeball there, remove that layer and export this as a PNG. This way it's a transparent file and you can place it anywhere. Um, but we will keep it white for now. This red one, as you can read here, do not modify, don't touch this folder. Um, for advanced users, you guys can mess around with it, but honestly, it won't do anything, it won't really benefit you. So I would say just leave that alone. The rest of these files up here are going to be how you manipulate all the settings here. So was one with the LED, one with the base plate, one for the stand design, um, in the front and back, and there's one for the display as well. So by clicking all these individually in the thumbnail section, you can actually start to modify them. And you can see all these different files have pretty much the same amount of layers as well. You can see here that there's no back layer file for the pole because, well, there's no back layer in here. Um, this one up here doesn't show the front screen of the LEDs, so obviously that's missing from those files too. So another reason why we want to start with the most complicated one that's showing the front, back, and also all the LEDs. So let's start first by doing the screen. So let's do it from the top here, display design. We're going to double click on this thumbnail here. And what that's going to do is going to open up um, this another layer here on top. So I'm going to scoot this down a little bit. And you can see this screen.psb. So now I'm going to be working in this layer. And you can see in here, we actually uploaded all of our backgrounds here. And you go ahead and can click this eyeball button and click another one. And you can see all these different awesome backdrops here. So if you guys want to mock something up for a client using one of the um, uh, using one of these backgrounds that we have already provided, go ahead. That's totally fine. And but in this case, we want to do something custom for Virgin. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I already designed something here. I'm just going to drop this in. Oops. Let's try that one more time. Got to make sure I can see this first of all. Let me see. Right there, perfect. I'm um, gonna make a new layer here, perfect. And then I'm going to just drop that in, perfect. So you can see I got a slow up room room on the side, so I'm just going to max that out. We want to make sure we cover the entirety of the screen here, perfect. Hit enter, and now we're gonna hit Command Save or just save it, right? You can also go up here and click Save to. That also works. Um, and now we're just going to close it. So Command W to close, uh, or what else up here? Uh, where is Command W? Close right here. Perfect. So that closes it. And now you can see that our screen has now magically changed. So, oops, let me try to move this back onto the right hand side here. I can do that. Oh, geez. Oh, come on. Anyways, I'll keep that on the left. So now we see our screen has changed over there, which is really cool. Um, now we're going to change LEDs. So I want to match that purple and blue, which actually is kind of set on it already, which is great. But we'll click the LEDs here, double click that. And you can see all bunch of these LEDs here as well. Um, we don't have all the LED animations from Salsa just because a lot of them are either redundant or it's almost impossible to show in a, in a flat picture file. So we try to show as many as possible. If the one that you're trying to do is not here, you can absolutely make your own if you're fancy with Photoshop. Uh, but yeah, all you can go ahead and just um, select which ones that you want. You can obviously stack them as well. That's not a true representation of what it's also would look like. Uh, but you're probably going to stick with something purple and blue to match the virgin. Um, but if you do want to make something on your own, um, all at the bottom here is a, a solid color one, um, which you can enable. And you can just go ahead and right click that go to blending options and do some sort of crazy gradient or something like that. Um, keep in mind obviously that Salsa can't do everything 
Um, you can only have a set amount of the patterns that we have delivered to you, so don't go too crazy here. Um, but if you did want to change the solid color, all you need to do is just right click here, go to blending options, click a color overlay, and then just choose a color that you want. Uh, and it also can do a wide range of colors. Obviously, results may vary due to how bright your LEDs are, due to what color you pick. So you can go ahead and choose something on here. So let's just say I just wanted to do a purple here. I click OK, OK. And then just like before, I hit Command Save. Or you can go up here and click File and then Save as well. And then when you're done, hit Command W. And that'll close this out. So we can go to Command W or just go here and hit Close. Perfect. So now we got our purple light. Sweet. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to do the pole design and then also the base plate design. So let's do the front design first. And you can see here you have the entirety of the pole. Um, again, depending on which uh, vinyl wrap company you use, what sticker company you use, they might want you to send the whole file top to bottom. They might split it up in half. Um, it's totally up to the vendor that you choose. Um, the one that we use uh, usually splits it up in half, but for this demonstration, we're going to do the full one. Uh, again, and this is also not a template to make a, a sticker or a wrap. This is a template to show it to your clients as a presentation tool. So completely different things, um, and your sticker provider, your vinyl manufacturer, whatever, they might provide you with a template for you to use too. So anyways, now we're here. And this is a really simple um, layer here. So uh, on here, this section over here, you can actually just double tap that and then again change the color so we can have it be blood red if we want to, whatever. Um, but we're actually going to do a little bit of designing here. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. I have this cool little squiggly thing that I downloaded. So we're going to get that. Uh, I'm going to want to flip it 180 degrees here. So we're going to make sure that's perfectly 180. And I'm just going to make sure we tap on it here. Great. So we got that. I'm going to move it up a little bit over here. Okay, now that we've placed this uh, gooey thing on here, we're going to uh, fill this bottom section here because it doesn't look great right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new rectangle. Perfect. And then we're just going to draw that right here. Beautiful. Awesome. And just make sure that is perfectly flush there. So I'm going to hit Command T for transform and just move it around. Make sure that it's perfectly flush on there. This might be faster ways to do this. I'm not a Photoshop guru by any means. But cool, now we got that. Excellent. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want a gradient on there. So I'm going to put a color overlay. I'm oh, sorry, a gradient overlay, not a color overlay. And then we're just going to have it be this really nice and smooth um, color from purple to blue. But I'm just going to, so I don't know what's going on here. But thankfully, the colors are already here, which is great. So now we have this beautiful gradient. You can check it out in real time down there. Um, and those colors look pretty good to me. I like that. So I'm going to click OK. I don't like how it's diagonal right now. So I'm just going to put it like right at 180 or 90. That works. Perfect. Hit Enter. Excellent. But now this uh, gooey thing is black, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to go to this placement layer here, click Blending Options. I'm going to put a color overlay on there that matches the color there. Nice. Great. Again, guys, we are not Photoshop gurus here, nor can we actually make the designs for you. We can uh, try to help as much as possible, but you know, uh, this, this purchase, this file, is really only for advanced users. If you don't know what you're doing in Photoshop, I highly suggest you hire somebody to do this for you. Um, it's not an easy thing. It, takes, it took me personally years to learn Photoshop, um, but uh, it's not crazy stuff. It's not super hard, but if you take some time and, and learning and put of effort into it, we can definitely make it happen. Um, so now this all looks good, but I want to add my branding element to it. So I'm just going to put the Virgin logo. So I'm going to pop that in there. Wonderful. Um, you can see here that this is all stacked and this is below the rectangles. I'm going to put that on top of the rectangle. I'm going to resize it a little smaller here. I'm going to put it on the top middle. I don't like how it's red, so I'm going to again, right click. I'm going to do a little color overlay on there, make sure it's white. Wonderful. There we go. So again, Command S to save it. Uh, but right before I do that, I'm going to grab this color of this bottom blue, and I'll show you why in just a second. Oops, 
All right, cool. So save again. Quit. Ah, oh, lovely. That looks amazing. It's starting to look fantastic here. So the last part here is the base plate. So, uh, oh, sorry, second to last part, the base plate. So we're going to hit the base design here, open that up, and all I'm going to do is just look it up here, and then I'm just going to copy that blue on this over here, which is what I copied from before. Command save, then boom, got a blue base plate. Uh, but you can see here that I messed up. I did not do the back pole yet. That's why I said second to last thing. So what I'm going to do is go to the front stand design. Uh, I'm actually going to just straight up export this. Um, it doesn't matter. Save, export as PNG. Let's export as a JPEG. Perfect. Or PNG, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to export that to our desktop. Perfect. Excellent. Now we have that. And then I'm just going to close this. And then open up the back design. I'm just going to drop that in there and just copy it. Um, again, I'm doing this because I want the front and back design to be the same. If you want your back design to be different, by all means, change it. So now you can see there that uh, it doesn't match perfectly, but you get the idea. Um, it's wrapping around the pole in its entirety. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna go back to LED ring. I just I, I don't like that solid color. I, I bought salsa. I made salsa because I want those crazy colors. So I'm just gonna put that back in there at 111, and that should give me the pop that I need to really make this thing stand out. Beautiful. All right. And then the last part here is just export it. Again, you can export it as a JPEG, but we always recommend exporting as a PNG. So I'm going to click this eyeball here, remove that layer, and then just save as on my desktop here as a PNG file and version boot. I'm going to name it that right there. Uh, I like to say smallest file size, always better at far, smaller files. And then wait until that baby saves. So while that baby saves, we're going to go into the back mockup. Uh, th everything's the same for all these other two mockups. There's virtually no difference whatsoever. The only difference back here is you're going to see the back of the head. So all you need to do is double click that. Oh, not that one. Sorry. Uh, this one. And then all you're going to do is, again, you can change your color to, let's say, this blood red here. Command save. And then close it. And you can see that we have a you know almost bullet-shaped sticker for the back of the head here. Um, this, is, this is how our... Sticker slash vinyl manufacturer has designed this. If your sticker slash vinyl manufacturer uh, can actually cover the entire back of the head, that's awesome. Um, we don't have a mock-up for that, but you're more than welcome to do something else and experiment. Uh, what we try to find is the back of the head. Just try to just keep it white and just try to use some sort of transparent sticker on there. Um, hopefully in the future we might come up with different types of colors of heads. But what I like to do is just design around it. Just I know that the back of the of the head is going to be white so I just try to maneuver around that and just know that the back is going to remain that color um, but if you do want to add a design that you're more than welcome to stick it on there like that and then again if you want to just complete this whole red scheme you can just go like that and you just complete it out so that's pretty much it um, the first up export should have been but yeah here you go this is the the final final version here which is awesome and this is what we're going to be making today. It looks beautiful, and we're going to be able to put this in a presentation on our website to show off to our clients what we're capable of doing um, and the type of bespoke experience that you can deliver to your clients. Again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys are very successful with your business. Thanks.